Hello and welcome, it's Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to go back straight into the Fortune event yet again. Took these videos over the weekend and now I'm finally going through it and right off the bat I got Kitty. So this is the new guard and I actually just got her up to two stars. Now my thought process with that is two stars are going to get some more combat um, that I can use all across the board rather than just defense over Colonel Esserts. So I'm going to be using Kitty at two stars up until I can justify or see her get cheaper to bring her up to four stars because three stars is a waste of my money. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and you know see how it goes. But right now we're going to go through, going to get all of our new rewards set up. Pretty much don't really need anything in this round. Now Looking back on this, I messed up. I should have gone for the Argnaton or whatever his name is. Get his fragments. Yeah, he's not worth the cost. You're actually getting a smaller fraction of fragments than you do for the other guards because he's orange. But you can take him up to five stars. It's going to be very expensive to do so. I figured, well, maybe I'll just you know spend the money and get him up to three stars. And then I'll unlock all those other benefits for having that three stars because I will then have all three of the new guards. Now, this completely goes against everything I've been telling you guys. So, honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing. But we're doing it anyway because that's Guns of Glory. And that's what we do. So, just ran out of some of our points, but that's not bad. We're going to be okay. We're going to keep on trucking on. So let's see what kind of rewards we got, and we bought more resources. Now, the resources I bought are going to help me get my T11 cavalry. And in the second video tonight, I'm going to put those T11 cavalry to use. And I think you guys will all enjoy that. So stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and speed up our um, infantry, I should say. Infantry buildings. So right now it's kill event, but I'm not really participating in kill event. So it's not none of my worries. I actually am going to shield during this just so, you know, take precaution. I'm going to be wearing my construction gear. I'm going to be using my talent points for non-combat. So I'm not ready for combat. So I'm not going to take a chance. Always shield if you're not going to be taking a chance. That's just like the best advice I can give you. So we get population surge, we get the construction boost, and we're going to go down the line further and we're going to get training capacity and training speed again. And now we're going to come back to economy and we're going to see if we can, can't keep going, but instead Let's go ahead and do a little in the war. Why not? That's just wasting time here. Now we'll get the temporary wonders. You want all the benefits you can for construction speed and then troop training speed because we're going to be doing that. So we need to go ahead and put the shield on and now we're going to pop our talent. Switch gear and who knows maybe I might forget my talent. Then we want to make sure that we have like a construction um, speed guard on, as well as our troop capacity, training capacity guard on. And looks like I don't have that because I don't really do too much for it, so not a big deal. I have 15%. I'll take it. Put him on. Put him in the game, chief. Let's get crack lacking. And I think I'm just like, all right, use, use some resources but mainly want to save my food for the troop training. And I forgot to put my talent on. Always do this. So, makes me hate my life a little bit, but it is what it is. And now we're going to put development on. So, let's open up some wood. some more food that 
we'll just buy the rest. Because I want to leave the rest of my food for, to train troops afterwards. So we'll go ahead and speed it up with some gold because I've got a healthy amount. Don't need to be wasting my speed ups that I'm going to be using for troops. Open some more wood up because I don't like dealing with that. And now we're just going to buy the resources. And we're going to again use gold to speed it up. It's a lot cheaper. And we're going to start level 35. Okay, and now we have T11 calves. So let's pop the population, population surge on. And we'll go from there. And get our troop training temporary wonder go ahead and put that on because we're no longer doing any building pop the talent to save some resources and open up some food or we can forget about the talent or not T11s are very expensive. Pretty much every troop is very expensive. It really burns a hole through the bottom of your pocket. And we have 666,000 gold. That's a very nice number. Very round. And very wrong. So we'll just see how many troops we can train till I run out of speed ups probably. It's not going to be much, it's about 19,000 troops. We're just going to keep on going, doing the same thing. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it, so let's go ahead and stop this video and